morning. Today I will share with the NATO members our working together in order to support Ukraine in one side and in our cooperation with NATO in the places where we, European Union, we have missions, especially in Kosovo and in Bosnia Herzegovina. From the point of view of our support to Ukraine, I will inform to the NATO members that we are going to approve, I hope, next Monday in Luxembourg, a new tranche of our military support to the Ukrainian armed forces. And it will be reaching of more than three billion of European peace facility resources. Also, about the establishment of a military training mission to support the Ukrainian army. At that moment, when Putin is increasing their escalation, we have to continue determined to support Ukraine as much as needed and for how long as needed. We will continue providing military support in order to face any kind of Russian military attack, any escalation of the war. We want to look for a diplomatic solution to this war as soon as possible. But we will be facing with determination and with increased military support to Ukraine any escalation from Russia. I will inform also to the NATO members about our missions in Bosnia and Herzegovina, our THEA mission, where we work together, to NATO, and in Kosovo, where our mission, ULEX, is working also together with uh, the NATO mission. In both countries, in the Balkans, we have to continue working hand on hand in order to ensure the stability of the region. Thank you.